All right, during this installation, ultimately this section of the air intake will be removed, as well as the air box itself. We'll be disconnecting it right here behind this mass airflow uh, sensor, and uh, the two will come here and it'll poke down into the, the void that's right in here. So this is where it's gonna go. We'll start off by removing this piece. All right, to get this, this piece off, there's four connection points here, and then another connection point here. These little pieces here, you pull the center out, and then the tab comes out. Alright, to get the air filter off, there's two bolts here and here, as well as some two clips that attach it to the mass airflow filter. So we're going to sensor. We'll start by taking the bolts off. And then these clips, you could either use, uh, get your finger back behind here or if, if that's too difficult, you actually can put a screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver behind it and pop those off. But with those that, now this air box should Alright, so this pipe it's got this flanged rubber connector on it, but it's too big for the for the MAF, but they provided this gasket that we're going to put on there, and that's going to fatten that up so it'll work. Alright, so now it's the right size. So it's adapted. This will turn down here, but before we do that, before we mount this, we're going to put the air filter on this end. When we insert this tube into the air filter, we're going to make sure we push it all the way down into it touches that little shelf. That means it'll be fully inserted and then we'll tighten down this hose clamp. Alright, so after looking at this, we decided instead of having this metal bracket go down inside this rubber piece, it actually probably caused a leak, we decided just to go underneath the, the hose clamp. So we went in the shop, we bent it down, we actually cut it off, it had a little extra on it. So we cut it to, to size, we put it there. Now we're going to kind of test fit it, make sure we got the angle right before we tighten this that particular hose clamp. Before you get too tight, where's the bolt for the... Is it okay that it's yeah. pressing up against that? Yeah. We'll, we'll bend it in place later. Alright, this is the original bolt that held on the original air box. Just reusing it. Tighten, finish this up. Let me finish that. I'm gonna put a little bit of. All right, I'll finish it up. Get this all pushed on good and tight. Mm -hmm. 
Now, that you got good? This was tight, I tightened it. So now, the only other thing we can do is if we want to make this thing sit a little differently, we can bend this and just do a final adjustment. And it's touching over here, so I think we'll bend that like that. Now it's not touching. All right, so we're going to crank it up and see if we broke it. Ah, oh, it worked. If you've enjoyed or learned from the contents of this video, please click the like button. It's the simplest way to provide me some feedback to let me know that it was helpful. On the left, there's a link to a playlist that will contain all the videos for this vehicle, as well as a link to subscribe to my channel with all my other goodie videos. And remember, with a little bit of insight, you can do it too.